Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to talk a bit about initial states in RealFlow. So first of all I'm using uh, RealFlow 2014 but you should be able to follow along if you're using any other or newer version of RealFlow. So first of all I'm going to go to demons and I'm going to create a gravity demon. Um, I just want to set up a really basic scene for us to um, actually start with. And then I'm going to go to geometry and I'm going to click on cube and then press R on the keyboard and I'm just going to resize this cube something like that and then I'm going to duplicate it by pressing command D on the keyboard and I'm going to move this one down and forward and I'm going to duplicate it again move it down and forward uh, just so that we have something to work with like a basic staircase okay so that should be good enough and then what I'm going to do I'm going to select all these um, all the geometry and I'm going to click on this button here on the side um, so that we take it out of um, the wireframe mode basically okay the next thing we want to do is we want to create a particle emitter so I'm going to go to liquid particles and I'm going to click on circle and I'm just going to move it up a little bit like that and then I'm going to go back to geometry and I'm going to create a cube with an open top move that up a bit and I'm going to scale it by pressing R and then just scaling it something like that maybe move it over to the side and then I'm going to move my particle emitter just to make sure that it's right above that cube okay let's just move it over slightly okay so basically with initial state um, is you can save a state of a certain object or particle emitter and then when you reset your scene it will actually go back to that state so let me show you how to actually use that so i'm going to click on simulate and then you'll see that our particles will start flowing into the box and let's say that we only want to kind of fill up this box halfway that's when we will be using a um, a state okay initial state so right about there i'm going to stop my simulation by pressing on simulate again and then with our particle emitter selected i'm going to go to the speed um, parameter I'm going to change that to zero and then I'm going to click on simulate again and then you'll see that our emulation will actually stop the liquid will fall down and it will kind of settle in the box and then I'm going to click on simulate again just to stop that all right now we want to save a um, initial state for our particle emitter so with our particle emitter selected right at the top if you scroll up um, you'll see initial state and you need to change this use initial state to yes and then you click on make initial state so if i click on this drop down next to reset you just need to make sure that this is ticked reset to initial state and then if you click on reset and you click on yes it will reset to that state so let's say we want to move this box out of the way and then i'm going to click on simulate and you'll see that our particles will now fall down and it will interact with our geometry now let's say we want to reset that to try something new so now you can just stop your simulation, click on reset, click on yes, and it will actually go back to that state. So obviously I moved the box out of the way. I'm just going to undo that. And we can actually do the same with the box as well. So I'm going to select the box and then I'm going to go to initial state on the box and I'm going to set that to yes as well. And then I'm going to click on make initial state for the box as well. So now I can move the box out of the way and I can do a simulation. Maybe I'm testing something. I see okay that's what's happening and I'm not really happy with the results so I'm going to stop my simulation and I'm going to click on reset yes and basically that's going to reset my particle simulation as well as the box because I've set up a use initial state and I made a uh, initial state for both those objects. Cool thanks a lot for watching and um, give me a thumbs up if you guys want to see more real flow tutorials on my channel and also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new weekly tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.